What's up? My name is Ryan Kelly. I'm competing at the uh, MTC Sacramento this Saturday. So I'm going through my final depletion workout, upper body depletion workout. I've been low carb since last Wednesday. I'm going to get my first bit of carbs tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. So it's going to be lighter weight, high reps, trying to get a good pump deplete and last of the glycogen in my body. So that way my body will suck up all the carbs I eat for the next two days. So yeah, that's what we're going to get to. We'll start with back chest superset, hit shoulders, then we'll go to arms, probably do a little calf work too because you never really do enough calves, my weakest body part, so let's get to it. nice and tight and go to a chest movement pressing movement and we'll bounce back to a back movement and then more chest movement then we'll get them shoulders the nice thing about this movement is good for getting the outer chest to get that really wide grip that way I come from a side chest pose, this sticks out. It's an area I've had to work on a lot. Tall and wide, so taller, wider guys naturally have kind of a flat chest. So I've worked really hard to try and bring that area out. I turn my hand in as I'm pulling up and I get a lot more involved. My hand neutral and start to work the rear belt a lot more. Nothing wrong with working rear belts, but I want to make sure the lats get involved as well. Alright, so that's the last back work. I'm gonna do a couple more chest exercises. Yesterday I did a little bit more back than chest, so today I'm doing a little more chest than back. Did the last of my leg work on Tuesday. You don't want to get your legs you don't want to hit your legs too hard the last week because they can puff up on you. They can gain, you already carry a lot of water in your lower body. We're bipedal creatures. Our legs are meant to carry us around. There's a lot of muscle there, so there's a lot of water there. You want to make sure you show all the cuts. So you cut your leg work about three, four days out. So that's why I'm just hitting upper body right now. So he wants me to cover a shift tomorrow. No, I'm going to Sacramento tomorrow. Otherwise I'd help out. i try and help out, but no can do. And another reason for lightweight, if you're done building muscle by the week up, or you should be, you really want to be ready a couple weeks out. My ass is always behind schedule, so I'm ready about a week out. But you're not trying to get sore. I'm not going to failure. I'm stopping three, four reps short of failure. You get sore, the muscle gets inflamed. Inflammation brings fluid to the area. Again, we're trying to get it as dry as possible. So you don't want to get sore. If you're sore the day of the show, there's probably going to be some water retention in that sore area. It's kind of a pain in the ass because most of us don't really know how to hold back. You go into the gym to give 100%. Right now I'm giving 80. It feels weird. But it's part of the game. This is one of my favorite chest exercises. It's good for getting the all-around chest, particularly since we already pre-exhausted a little bit the outer chest and the upper chest. 
You get a good stretch at the bottom, push up. Now, you notice I'm not going all the way up, I go about three quarters. It's for all you foreign police out there. I'm doing that foreign specifically on purpose because I want to focus more on the chest than the triceps. We're going to hit our triceps later on in this workout anyway. That, I'm a little tired too, so give me a break, all right? Form, I believe in strict form, but it doesn't always have to be textbook perfect. So I'm going to do some isolation work for front, side, rear delts. Kind of do it like a circuit, just pump them out. I think the term pig out was coined by somebody who watched a bodybuilder after a contest. It's pretty insane, but hey, you've earned it.